Why you why are you here? What is wrong? What is this? That's the list. The marriage list. I was asked to do everything in there. That's the only way I can get married what? to you. No. Four hundred tubers of yam. That's not four hundred, that's four thousand. What, what for? That's what they said. I have to do everything in the list before you can be my wife. No, no, no. Th 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 this is not possible. What? Cows? Goats? Hey! No, this is sheer wickedness. They said there's a second list. Don't scream too much. <laughs> this is... Excuse me, please. Bear this in mind. All these things, not temptation, nothing good comes in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Now what is this? Hmm? Uh, what is this? Marriage list. Hey. Now this is pure wickedness. This is wickedness. Hey! Where do you want Odile to get this kind of huge amount of money from? When you and I know very well that Odile does not have this kind of money. The matter is simple. Very, very simple. If Odile cannot perform what is in that list, then let him forget about the marriage. I leave my daughter alone. Very simple. Umba. Umba. Papa, that one is not even possible. <laughs> hey, please. Let's not just even bring that one in. It's not possible. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Odili is a man after my heart. Money or not, I am going to marry Odili. Papa, please, it's not that simple, oh. It's not that simple. <sighs> now you listen to me, young lady. Every day you disobey me and marry that fool, Odili. Without performing all these things in that list, you will cease to be my daughter. I even forgot to add uh, uh, one big ram and the full fibo. I have not place. got into that. It has not got into that. Mama, Onyinye, let me even ask you a question. Why are you even taking Panador on another man's headache? Oh. Who told you that Odili is not capable of paying for the items in the list? Let me help you, Samson. It is my own headache. This is my headache! What are you even talking about? This is my husband to be. We are talking about here. I behave like someone wants to. Be Excuse me. Whatever affects Odili affects me. <laughs> oh, what kind of a wife do you think I'm going to be? A wife who will just let her husband waste money on frivolities. It's not possible. Even if Odili has all the monies in this world, I would not let him spend on on, on this on this on this rubbish you wrote here. It's not possible. I'm not that kind of a wife. I'm not. I'm not a wasteful spender. Wait a minute. What am I even saying? Samson, when you married your wife, can you tell us how much you spent marrying her? It's none of your business. No, it is my business. Of course it is my business. Papa, I was there 
when Judith also got married though, I was presently present. I know how much the husband spent. Papa, in fact, you were even very excited that the man exceeded your list. And the list didn't look anything like this. Papa, please. Why do you want to kill somebody's son because he wants to marry your daughter? It's not fair now. No, it's on your knees for you want to kill my husband. Why, Odili? Why? Because Odili is a stranger in this community. Simple. And the Judith's husband is from, uh, from this community. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I remember. Of course he's a stranger. Samson, let me ask you this question. Please. Where is your wife from? The last time I checked, she's not from this community. Is she from this community? It does not concern me. Oh no, it does concern me, Samson. It does concern me. Haba, what is all of this? Why? You want to kill somebody's son? Just because he wants to marry me? This is totally unfair now. It's not nice. Please, oh. Please and please and please with due respect, Papa. I do not want to disobey you. I do not want to disrespect you, Samson. Mama, talk to Papa. Warn your son. Hell, otherwise, you people will walk down with me here. Now, you need to be young lady. Is it that all the lady performs all the things in that list? Or no marriage? Really? Or no marriage? Really? Get that into your Papa, head. is it your marriage? Are you the one they are marrying? Are you not my daughter? Okay, no, Papa. Please, don't you need the privileges? No, 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 no. Don't you need the airplane? Enough of don't that. Don't you need the house? Enough. Enough what? Let's put it on the list now. Our our lifetime problem. Let's do compensation. Right. 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 Okay. Nah, it's unfair. <laughs> it's unfair. Mm. All I know is that wherever my daughter stands, that is where I am going to stand. Eh? Of course. That wherever your daughter stands is where you are going to stand. Yes. Don't worry. Very soon, both of you will stand in the land of confusion. Because we are calling with uh, uh, tradition. We are calling with culture. It's okay. Don't worry. We shall see. We shall see. But let me ask you, on which side are you? It's huh? obvious. On which side are you? Papa, is that even a question? It's obvious. This is tradition, though. Mm. This is tradition. Remember? Tradition. 58 cow is tradition. And tradition must be observed. Mm -hmm. What is in tradition? Do you want Having sleepless nights. I've been thinking of doing the things on the marriage list your father gave to me. I'm sorry all that while I couldn't come up with the money needed. I was very upset with myself. But then I remembered my mother had told me about a piece of land given to her by her grandfather before he died. I had to convince my mother to sell off that piece of land for my sake. I needed to raise the money for the marriage rights. It was very difficult to convince my mother, but eventually I did. That is the part payment made by the buyer of the land. He promised to give me the rest of the money next month. Yeah. What did he? So what you're trying to tell me is that you sold your mother's only piece of land. For what? I mean, to what end? 
That's the only option I had. No! <sighs> um, Odili. Do you love me? What kind of stupid question is that? No, just answer the question. Do you love me? Of course I love you and that's why I'm doing all of this. Okay. If you love me... money and get back your land. Take it. Have you lost your mind? No. You are taking back this money to get back your land. Odili. If you don't take back this money, then I'm sorry. You're going to lose me. Well, you mean, have you lost your mind? Take what about your father? What about your brother? What about the, 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 the marriage list? What happens to it? Odili, please. Take this back. Take back this money and reclaim your land. Please. Please. Answer the question. What about the marriage list? What, did he what happens to no, it? No, please stop. You're taking this back. What about your father? Oh my goodness. I said just take back the... What about the promises I've made? What is it that you want to discuss? My love. Yes. I'm tired of sitting down in this small house doing nothing. I mean, I've returned the money like you rightfully instructed me to. And right now, I think I want to start looking for a job. Because come to think of it, I'm educated. I've got all it takes to work. But I'm just here doing nothing. I'm tired. Hopefully, if God helps me, I find a job. Things might get better or something. That's a very good plan. I mean, very good. I think I'll also look for something to do myself. Anything I can lay my hands on to be able to support you. Yes. If you're working and I'm working, we can jointly sort out our issues. It doesn't matter how little I can contribute. I should be able to support you. You see why I say good things about you. You're a good girl. You were raised well. Thank you for coming through for me. I appreciate all your kindness. You're a wife material. Thank you. I'm sorry, I should have told you I was going out yesterday. So I went to look for a job at Umamaga Community. Okay. So I got an information mm -hmm. that there's a vacancy at their palace. So I went, I met with the king and his wife. And I told him about both of us. So they want us to come and as the name and the palace guard. And our salary is going to be 15,000 naira every month. Wait, hold on. So what are you trying to say? I want to get a job at the palace. Yes, I told the queen about you. Hello, 
But you're very hardworking and you're very nice. You're talking, right? And they, they seem like very nice people. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You said our salary is 15,000 naira. Every month. So we both will be earning 30,000 naira every month. Like 30k. 30,000 naira every month. Yeah. Monthly. Yes. <laughs> what? Wait, what are Feeding. Yeah, I mean, I want to know that one day we're going to be working in a palace. So what does that mean? It means that there's so much food to eat, so we don't have to touch our salaries. Guilty. <laughs> Guess what? So we're going to be saving like thirty k every month. Every month. month. Monthly. Yes. I will be eating so much food. Guess what? He said we should come and start tomorrow. Wait, your boyfriend says that tomorrow, you know, when we sleep and wake up, we can leave it. We're leaving tomorrow. Hmm. So, my children. What you both are telling me now is that you've gotten a job yes, at the royal family of Oma Maga Kingdom. Yes, ma'am. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Mama, I'm very happy. Yeah. I am very happy too. I'm very, very happy. So when are you both leaving? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay? Yes, Mama. Um, what if your father should ask me your whereabouts? Where will I tell him? Mama, please. Papa is your husband. You can handle him. Tell him anything. But please, do not mention where we work. Papa must not know that all. Please, oh. Mama, she's right. He shouldn't know where we work. Oh. <sighs> I've heard what you said. And I will do just that. Let me pray for you. God Almighty will guide and protect you. Mm -hmm. You will achieve every of your good heart desire. Long life and prosperity. You people will not fall into any temptation. I cover you people with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you people with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Woman, since I came back from my travel, I have not seen you in the land all the day. Where are they? They are no longer here. They are no longer here. Where are they? Where have they gone to? They have gotten a job to raise money to perform the marriage rites on Olinya. Ujia, you mean that boy you have been ran away with your daughter? And you cannot even call me or Samson to tell me of us? Eh? I did not say they ran away. I say they have gotten a job. Eh? They have gotten a job and they are living in their working place. Eh? As a husband and wife. As a husband and wife work. They have gotten a job and they are living in their working place. Okay. Why is their working place and when are they coming back? No, I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Yes, sir. Which I couldn't ask you. What kind of a woman are you? I'm asking you, what kind of a woman are you? That boy you have been ran away with our daughter, Ozi. You are telling me that you don't even know where they went to and the way they are coming back. Let me tell you. If anything happens to my daughter Oniye, if anything happens to my daughter Oniye, I will scare your life. I 
I'm very well, my queen. Um, where are the other maidens? Uh, my queen, they're still sleeping. Still sleeping by this time of the day? Um, my queen, is there anything you'd like me to do for you? It's okay, don't worry. Um, my queen, I'm actually almost done with this, just in case there's anything. Are you sure this food is going to be enough for you or do you want me to bring some more? Really? Yeah. This food is much. I'm thinking how to finish it. Why not? You're a man. A man should eat. Oh, so I look like a donkey that eats too much. <laughs> Why did you give me this much food? Hey, but this is not so much. I was thinking of adding some more for you. I'm in charge of the kitchen. I know, know because you're in charge of the kitchen, so you want to give me more food. <laughs> What, what, what is going on here? Why are you both hiding here? We're not hiding. We're not hiding. hiding. Yeah, he was eating and then I brought him water. As what? Does he not have rights to get water for himself? I call Julia. Eh? You. I feel one little out of you. Is it your eyes? You want to impregnate her? We're not doing anything. She just got me water to drink. You are not doing anything. Now, both of you, listen to me. I will not listen to anyone you, you again. Huh? Can you imagine? Am I heard your voice? What is it? Yes. These two are always so close to each other. I've warned them several that they do not listen. 
Mm. What even made they were kissing and the man seemed to be fine walking? No, 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 no. We're not doing anything. We're just, we're just sitting and talking you know, as friends. I just brought water. And how is it your business if they're close to each other? Huh? Don't tell me you have eyes on this young man. What? You heard me. Adeline, be very careful. Just go back to your position. Thank you, my princess. Well, we weren't we're doing anything. We weren't doing here anything. Eating and talking. It's fine, just go. She's always doing that. Yes, we're not doing anything. She's always attacking oh, me for no reason. It's fine, just go. Let, let me have this. Be very careful. Huh? I want to remind you that you're a woman. You're not supposed to be close to a man who is not your husband. Especially in this kind of environment. I'm sorry, Maya. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just go back to your Thank position. Thank you, my princess. At every little opportunity, Zama wants to show power. She wants to show that she's in charge. Oh! Oh, oh, Ah, oh. I see you don't like it. I like it. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, you see, I've been meaning to ask, what is your observation about these two people we employed? I mean, um, orderly and on need to be specific. Well, um, for the maiden on you, mm. I don't know. Oddly, that guard has been doing wonderfully well. In fact, he is the best guard among all the guards. Same with Onye, your majesty. Ooh. That girl is well industrious. That Onye wakes up before every other maiden in this palace yeah. to do the clearing, wash the dishes and so on and so forth. She is doing well, honestly. Which means both of them are doing perfectly well. Yes. And what do you have in mind for them? You see, if you ask me, I would suggest we make her the chief cook. Since our chief cook has been on leave for some time now, I know she will deliver. In that case, I will also make oddly my chief guard. And I am going to increase their salaries to 20, 20,000 oh. each. <laughs> That is yes. nice. They deserve it, Your Majesty. Yes. So tell me, what next? What do you want me to do? You have to arrange for a meeting with them immediately. That's the next thing to do. I will do just that, Your Majesty. It's okay. It's okay. My Queen. <laughs> um, we call this meeting because of you and her. Um, my friend, please, did we do anything wrong? Um, yes, you have done something. Hey! Please, 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 we're sorry. Yes. What, what have we done? Whatever, whatever we've done, we're very, very sorry. I, I, I promise you, it's unintended. We will never deliberately do anything wrong. Yeah, 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 your Majesty, it's just time to do things wrong. Yes, we don't even know when... Sometimes we go astray without knowing. Your Majesty, just have mercy on us. Please, just forgive us. Your Majesty. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, so, uh, your Majesty, I, I know we have wronged you in so many ways. We may have wronged you. Shut up now. Allow the Queen to talk. No, you know, she's saying that we wronged you. You are making noise. Um, Your Majesty, you see, I Ever since you and Odeli moved into this palace, we've been watching you very closely and you've been doing wonderfully well. Huh? well. And for that reason, my family and I have decided to promote you both. What? Onye. Yes, my queen. Henceforth. 
you are going to be the chief cook of this palace. So congratulations to you. Huh? What? Congratulations. Chief cook. You have me. My queen, I'm sorry, like, did you see it again? No, 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 in case you don't understand, she said you're going to be in charge of the kitchen. I heard her, yes. You're going to be in charge of the food I in this house. Oh, yes. You did this. You did this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, my king. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From this moment on, you are the chief guard of this royal house. Which means every other guard is under your control. Your <laughs> Majesty, what are we? We have agreed to increase your salaries from fifteen thousand naira to twenty thousand naira. My King, with all due respect, I, 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 I think this is this is this is unfair. There were other maids that I'm guard before the game. So those must be promoted first before this one. Hey, will you shut up? Who are you to tell my parents how to run the affairs of this family? Huh? Hmm. Uh, okay. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. You can go now. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. Thank, thank, thank you, Majesty. It's all right. Thank you so much, Thank you. 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 Thank Mom? Princess, you heard your mom. Apologize to her. Now. Sorry. What do you want? I came to talk to you. Okay, I'm listening. I want to know, I just want you to tell me what it is I ever did wrong to you that has made you detest me with so much passion. Your behavior cannot please me. What have come over you? My brother has not married you yet and you display this nonsense attitude of yours. Oh, please, please don't insult me because I came to your room. Take it easy. Say, if you don't turn a new leaf, you might lose him. Is that a threat or what? You heard me. Now leave. Now leave. Get out! Young woman, listen to me. Listen to me. If anything happens to my daughter, Ulilechi, I will kill you and kill your son. Why must you run away with my, with, with, with my daughter? Oh, yeah, my mama. Do I just give birth to my daughter with your son? Eh? Now listen to me. Call him wherever he is and tell him to bring back my daughter. Tell him to do that. I'm not going to hear that on me. Come on, dear. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I beg you. Please. Eh? Talk about justice with mercy. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Listen, listen, listen. Something will happen to her. Listen, listen, woman. I am not here for this. You are hanky panky or whatever. Do you hear me? Call your son wherever he is. Beg him. Plead with him. Cry for him. 
to bring back my daughter. Else, you see this house, I will burn down this house. I said they will come back. They will come back. Your daughter is safe. They will come back. Wherever they are. I will not want you again. Oh. I will not want you again. Please calm down. She will come back. Your daughter will come back safe. Eh? Look at the way he's just giving himself IBP. Because of the things, this is just what is what is 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 raining now for young boys and girls. That is just the the way things are. He's just giving himself high BP. Abba. Oh. Hmm. This food is delicious. Your Majesty, tell me, how is the food? Hmm, this food is very sumptuous. Hmm? Only this mother must be a good cook, and then um, she thought to hear that. Hmm. Um, only, what must tell me, who taught you how to cook? My queen, His Majesty has said it all. In other words, your mother taught you. Yes, my princess. <laughs> you are wonderful. Mm. Thank you very much. Wow. It's good. Ah. Pepper. 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 Why did she walk away like that? Um, Your Majesty, I hope the pepper is not too much. No, everything is moderate. It's very nice. Is the pepper too much? My food is good. I like it. My friend. Yummy. <sighs> Mom, please, can we enjoy this delicious meal prepared by me and forget about the walking cups? Mm. Princess, mm. and Lord, and Lord, mind your tongue. I'm sorry. Um, I'm glad you all are enjoying your meal. Why are you eating with three pieces of meat? Sorry, huh? I said, why are you eating with three pieces of meat? Because I'm supposed to eat with Say the explanations. Onyinye! 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 My princess, I'm here. What is this? I... Sorry, I don't understand. You don't understand. It's food. Of course I know it's food. Why would you serve me three pieces of meat? Trace. Eh? Meat is meant for everyone in this palace. Take two to the kitchen. No. Now. The, uh, there's... Shut up! I'm already... I said you should shut up! There's enough meat in the house. Oddly, don't push me. Shut up! We killed a big cow two days ago. I said you should shut up! Take the tree to the kitchen. Take it to the kitchen. Move it this way. What's up, Mara? And you. There's food in this. Enough meat in the, in the, in the kitchen. You want to eat rice? But there's, there's, there's enough you want to eat rice. What? Oh. My princess, you you sent for me. Do you know that as I'm looking at you right now, I feel like strangling you to death. Uh, my princess, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, did I, I don't understand, did I do anything? How would you understand? You just see from the gods that I feel I can hijack everything in this palace, right? Get out. Huh? Get out! 
Jesus, will ye? I said out! You witch! The person says you should get out! Go now! Ah. Hm. Don't worry. By the time I am done with you, if you see me, you run. Feel the thing. You don't let anybody upset you. you just calm down. What did she tell you? Can you imagine? She called me only to insult me. Calling me all sorts of names that she hates me and that she thinks I'm a witch. That's why people like me in the palace. Can a you just imagine? A witch? Yes. But people don't like witches. I was wondering. Listen, people like you because you're a likable person. What? People like you because you're nice. She's only jealous of you but because you're a likable person. That doesn't mean I'm a witch. No, right? you can't be a witch. If you're a witch, I won't like you. Yeah, that's true. Listen, if she wants to be like you, she needs to change. <laughs> she needs to change her behaviors. She needs to change her character. Tell me something else. That witch can't change. Forgive me, I had to call her a witch because she called me a witch. But she can't change. I only pity the prince who's going to come back to marry that witch. Wait, you haven't heard. What? Okay, earlier today. Mm -hmm. The princess and herself. Yes. They both had a verbal confrontation. You're joking. No. You see, the princess advised her to change her bad ways. If not, she would lose the prince. <laughs> yes. That's loud. I'm serious. My queen, she's coming. Okay. My queen, good morning. You called. Good morning. What are you doing? Um, I'm doing the dishes, my queen. We well, are done with the dishes. Come and tidy the sitting room. Then dress my room. That's all right, my queen. But I, I was going to prepare breakfast after doing my dishes. So can I do the cleaning afterwards, if it's okay? Don't worry about the breakfast. Amara will do that. It's all right. Let me just finish with the dishes. It's okay. Where are you going to this morning dressed like this? I'm going to get my toiletries. Oh, that can wait. I want you to go and prepare breakfast. Yam and sauce. But my queen, when you know it's there, she can do it. Omichi is busy. I sent her to do something for me. Hold on before your majesty start asking for me. thing is this now? You both will cook this meal. What you prepare for us to eat? So is it how to prepare sauce? Salt? Pepper? <sighs> Pepper? Pepper? Oh, I said it. this girl will kill us in this house. <sighs> Darling. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Hi, my God. Look at the 
source, very watery, over salted. Eh? Amara, do you have the killers in this house? Amara, eh? honestly speaking, I am disappointed at you. I'm sorry, my queen. You are sorry? You see, if I talk now, you people will say, Princess Adak, talk too much. Come on, yam and exos. She doesn't know how to prepare. I have to talk where to be. Doesn't know her job as a woman. Amara, you are beautiful. Thank you very much. Did you say thank you? You're beautiful and you don't know how to cook. And you're telling me thank you. Go and call Onyechi for me. You heard her. Say you. Is it her or me? You! Go and call Onye! Excuse me, my friend. Mercy! Mercy! What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I said go and call Onye for me. My queen, it's like our mercy will just rush her. Mercy! What is this? Mercy! You're shouting. Look at the Yamayama thing that she made for us to eat. Is it that her brain did not tell her the amount of pepper and salt to put in this food? Gucci, what is wrong with you? Now she has made the mistake. What do you want me to do? And why are you shouting me? Who is in your voice? You're making those. Are you telling me that her mother did not teach her how to cook? Oh, many yam and eggs. Look at the rubbish that she made. Okay, madam. Since she doesn't know how to make it, and the mother didn't teach her. You and your mother thought very well. Why didn't you go and help her? Why didn't you help her in the kitchen? I am totally disappointed. I am the ordinary yam and egg sauce. Ugochi, respect yourself. Who's just are hearing what you're saying? Eh? You're talking down, my princess. What is wrong with you? Hi. Why are you complaining? Not you now, madam. I want thou. Who Who are you talking to? And who invited both of you in this case? Look at them like swollen puffs. <laughs> I don't blame both of you. Ugo, you see what you have caused. You see what you have caused. But it's the truth now. Uh -huh. Ugochi, shut up. One. Shut up. Hi. I am an ex. -ox. Maybe the punishment you both received the other day is not enough. Maybe you both want to scrub this compound again. Look at them, useless people. You guys should come and join this one. Oh. You people like a pop pop that is swollen that leaks for you. I don't blame you that I blame. Did you, did you see what is going on there? Samson, my son. Your mother here is in the right position to answer this question you are asking me now. Because she cannot with that fool orderly to run away with uh, 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 Onine. And I have told her about that number to go and look for Onine and bring her back to this house. Because when I start my own, when I start my own, this whole community will not accommodate us. Talk to her. Mama, <laughs> Mama, you heard what Papa said. Please tell us, what do you know about Oninye's disappearance in this house? Audley and Oninye did not run away. They have gotten a job somewhere. 
to see if they can raise money to perform what is in the marriage list which you and your father connived and gave to him. So you and your father pushed them away. Not me. Nobody should mention my name again in this house. Did you hear her? Did you hear your mother? Talk to your mother. Papa, Talk to your mother Papa, because Papa, if I start my own... Papa, please, calm down. Please. Talk to your mother. Mother, don't be me because... <laughs> please. Hey. <laughs> Mama. Okay. Yeah? Thank God at least we know they are alive. Uh, but please, can you tell us where they are or which company they are working for? I don't know. Mama, you don't know? I don't know. Please, I was doing something inside when you and your father called me here. Like yeah. I said, I'm busy. Because. Oh, but you don't know what you're Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, my daughter. Go ahead, my daughter. Papa, don't worry, we can handle this. It's a bad issue. Talk to your mother. <laughs> don't worry, we can handle the matter. Papa, don't worry, sit down, sit down. Papa, no more of the face now. We'll talk about this. We shall see. right. I and Papa Chase to remain not the away from this house. No one has ever gotten married with such an expensive list before. I think I know what to do. Only Mama can bring them back. Yes? I'll have to speak with Mama. Are you awake? Yes, ma'am. Hope you slept well. Uh, not really, mama. I was disturbed all through the night. Are you sick? No, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. What happened? Uh, just that I'm disturbed about all the Lee and the uh, yeah. You know, that thing you said that I and Papa chased them away. Mama, you're correct. Too. You know, we shouldn't have arranged such an outrageous list, knowing that Odile is not capable to foot the bills. Hmm. Because you and your father hate that poor boy just because he doesn't have money. Do you know tomorrow? Uh, Mama. Mama, now, eh? quit the blames now. I and Papa, we have accepted it. Uh, it's our fault. Hmm. Hmm. Thank God you realized that. But Mama, mm. you know where they are. Please tell me so I can go and look for them. Even if it means giving all the list of money to perform the marriage rites, I will. Mm. Stop laughing now. I don't know where they are. Uh-uh. Mama. And wherever they are, they are fine. Eh? <laughs> eh. How do you know they are fine? Are you a spirit? You know. I say they are fine. Come on now. Hmm? This is my sister we are talking about. Man. Your daughter. I know. I say they are okay. Eh? So, you know how to come in. They are okay. 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 I should tell you where they are so that you go and look for them. If it's money you are going to give all the When do you start loving all this? I've never known your plan, my son. Oh. Uh, it's okay. Uh, your Majesty. I think this is the right time to call this Oninye girl and tell her our mind. 
that we would want our son to marry her the moment he comes back from London. My queen, you are right. But I would suggest that um, we keep both of them so that when our son comes back, he will make his choice. Um, my princess, what do you have to say? Dad, Mom, I prefer Oninye. Let's keep Oninye and send Amari away. Yes, Oninye is a good girl and a wife material. Um, my daughter, you're right if you say you prefer Oninye, but I think your father is right here. Let us not send Amara away. Because you already sent her picture to your brother over there. And if he comes back to meet a different person, he will think you are playing pranks with him. So I will suggest we'll stick to your father's advice till he comes back. Well, I prefer Nini. Your father and I prefer her too. Mm -hmm. mm. My queen. Your Majesty. You have to arrange for a meeting first. For us to meet with Oninye. So that we will know her mind. <laughs> Consider it done. No I will do that. My princess, Father. you have an eye for a good thing. Thank you, Father. The same Oninye. We are talking about. about. <laughs> That's my queen. <laughs> My princess. What is going on? What is going on? These people want to throw me away and bring him on me as the princess and future queen of this land. No, 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 no. After all I've labored for, they want to throw me away. Ah, what do I do? 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 Now, you both take this money. The king and the queen asked me to give you this money. It is your salary for this month and next month. Take it. What? what? They asked you to leave. One more thing. They said you both should not near the gate of this palace, else you will rot in jail. Why? What, what, what did we do? What did they say we did? Why are they sucking us? Why are you asking me questions? Huh? Please, can I, can I speak to the king? Shut up! Speak to who? You both think they've not been seeing you hiding and, and cuddling up and down in the palace. Hey! That's not true. Hey! Please, can I see the king? I need My to speak friend, with you. get out! Leave! See who? I need to see the king. What is wrong? You want to end up in prison? He employed us. Take this money now. Excuse me. Take it and leave. If I can't see the king, then I'm sorry I won't take the money. It's okay. My love, if we leave this palace right now, it means we're big fools. How, how do you mean? I feel the right thing to do is to consult the Igwe and the Lolo. At least tell them what just happened. I mean, we can't possibly leave like that. Besides, I don't trust that girl. I don't. We don't work for her. She didn't employ us. Baby, if you ask me, I will say that we leave immediately. No. At least in peace. She might be saying the truth. No, it's not ideal to leave the palace without the Igwe's consent. We must consult the Igwe. Besides, I don't trust that girl. There's something not right. 
There's something not right. There's something not right. Think about it. She can't just possibly ask us to leave. We don't work for her. She didn't employ us. We're working for the Igwe and the Lolo. She has no right to send us out. Just like that. Well, um, if you insist, then I think we should see the Igwe. Right. That's the right thing to do. Amara. Odile and Rene said that you asked them to leave this palace. That their services are no longer needed here. And you even paid them two months salary in advance. Is it true? Amara, I am asking you, is it true? Yes, my And who are you to do that? No, tell me, who are you to do that? Did you employ them? Are they working for you? You are unbelievable. No, my queen. Well, I, I, you are hey, hey, hold it there. How dare you talk to my mother in that manner? What is wrong with you? Huh? You see this nonsense attitude of yours? It has to stop. Because if you don't, then what is your problem, princess? What exactly is wrong with you? Why don't you like me? I, not that I care because I don't care. Why is it that you do not like anything about me in this palace? Take this from me. It is high time you got married. And allow me enjoy my marriage. <laughs> what? Who did I hear you say? Marriage. <laughs> Which marriage? Huh? Fool. Um, um, that's enough. She is still your brother's wife to be. Oh. Um, Odile, Onye, please go back to your rooms. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Amara, did you realize you were talking to my daughter, the princess of this kingdom? Let this nonsense you display today not repeat in this palace. Because if you try it again, you will not like what I will do to you. Get out. But my queen, you keep getting me out. I'll get out. We summoned you here to have a very important meeting with you. Sit down. You mean that I should sit? Sit. Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Uh, I would rather stand. I'm more comfortable standing. Oh, you hear my dear daughter. Sit down. You have nothing to fear. Sit! Move in, move in. Relax, relax very well. This is your home. Okay? Uh, I, I want to ask you a question on here. Do you love this royal family? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Good. Whatever we ask you to do, will you? Yeah, yes, Your Majesty. But, it, but, but that depends on... Uh, on oh, yeah. You see, my husband is trying to tell you that. Since the day you move into this palace, we've been watching you very closely. 
and uh, we came to find out that you are a very wonderful girl. Good. You are a nice girl. What I am saying is that you are a wife material and you have manners. Oh. Wow. That's a very um, wonderful recommendation, my queen. I'm flattered. Thank you very much. Welcome. You see, my husband and I have decided to choose you to be our son's wife. I mean the prince of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that the moment he comes back from London, we'll go see your parents and perform all the necessary marriage rites and make you ours. Oh. Oh. Wow. Um, your Majesty. No. It's not possible. Your son, the prince, already has a wife. And that is Amara. Oh, Nye, my beloved daughter. You've been in this palace with us for some months now. Yes. You know everything. The so-called Amara you're talking about is not a wife material. That's very correct, Your Majesty. Uh, but you can teach her. I mean, you can... You can turn her into the woman you want her to be. You can make her a wife material. Amara has come too far with this family already. We have done the best we can. We have tried all to make her change. But Amara is unchangeable. Yesterday, you were here when she was shouting at everybody, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is. She even ordered you and Abby to leave the palace. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. your, your Majesty, my Queen, please, there's something I would like to tell you about myself. Cool. What is it? Tell us. I hope you don't feel offended. It's it's orderly. What about him? Uh, Odile is my is my fiance. Yes, uh, he's my husband to be. Uh, we both love each other truly. As a matter of fact, the reason we came here to work is so as to be able to raise money for my traditional right. My father already gave him a list. I, I'm sorry, I, 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 cannot, I cannot marry the prince. It's okay, it's okay, my daughter, it's okay. You see, I am not expecting you to accept the proposal immediately. Yes. You are a woman. Mm -hmm. And things of this nature, women do think about it. Yes. I want you now to ponder over it, mm -hmm. think about it. Mm -hmm. And come out later with a better answer, yes. Mm -hmm. And for all the men, leave him for me. I will settle him in such a manner that his life will be more comfortable. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. You're right. Uh, uh, uh. Your Majesty. My queen, my princess, this is an honor. It's a privilege. But I'm so sorry. I, I cannot. There's really nothing there for me to think about. Onini, my father wants you to think about it. Eh? My dear, it's for your own good. Odili cannot offer you anything. You know it. And um, Oninye, you see, just go in, think about it. I am expecting you to say yes, so think about it. Me too. Ah. Do think about it. Do think about it. Tell 
Can you just imagine? Can you imagine that the king and Lolo asked me to marry their son, the prince? What? Asked you to marry the prince? Mm -hmm. Wait. If they asked you to marry the prince, then who's Amara and what's she doing in the palace? Oh, ask me now. What was your response? What did you tell them? Of course, I, I told them that it's not going to be possible. That I'm in love with you. Hey! What? Hey! What, what is it? I, I told them we're getting married soon. You and I. You told them that? Hey! Uh, are you are you okay? No. Why? For my love, no. I my love, you should have found a way around the question. I mean, I expected you to be diplomatic. Oh, I, so that so that they can keep pestering me. No, no. And, no. and putting me under pressure. Of course I needed to get them off my back. At least telling them the truth will keep them away from me. Uh. No, I, I expected you to stylishly discharge them, you know, diplomatically. Come on. I don't understand you. Hi. Why are you the one afraid now? What are you afraid of? What is it? Or, or you're not in love with me? Uh, no, no. I, I, I didn't say that, my love. I, I'm just... I'm just saying you should have... What are you saying? said anything yet concerning the proposal and I'm afraid she might decline. My dear, Oyinye is just a girl. You don't expect her to accept the proposal just like that. Besides, it's not easy for a girl to dump her lover for another man. Your Majesty, if not for anything, a uh, well tarot yacht is enough for me to say yes to that. What does she want? Oniye is not the type of a lady that is being moved by wealth or material things. For her to sit before us and boldly told us that she is in love with a common palace guard, that shows you that uh, she is natural. Your Majesty, I suggest you sack Odele so that we have enough time with Omi. Get her convinced to marry our son. Let's sack him. My queen, that is the right thing to do. You can't just sack Odele just like that. Both of them might decide to run away and Omi will be nowhere to be found. What I expect you to do is to call our princess and talk to her so that she will talk to Olivia because uh, young ladies of today knows how to handle issues that concerns their time. Yes. It's okay. Just that. No, 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 no. This is true. You know, I'm going to go. 
<laughs> Onyinye, see, the reason I'm asking you to marry the prince is for your own good. Look at yourself. You're very beautiful. You have a bright future staying in this palace as a palace maid. From palace maid to a cook. Yes. Marry the prince and be in the same position with me as the princess and the future queen of Umamaga kingdom. You will be in control of all the women of this kingdom. Whatever you want, you will have it. You name it. Cars. Jewelries. In fact, everything. You name it. <sighs> Onyinye, why do you want to lose this golden opportunity? Why? <clears throat> um, my princess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I will start by by saying a very big thank you to you for considering me and counting me worthy of the prince uh, it's a privilege but i'm sorry i i cannot accept your proposal of marrying the prince if i do that it means that i am deliberately snatching someone else's position and that is amara that's totally unfair. I wouldn't do that to my fellow woman. Amara has been in this palace long enough for the same position. Waiting on the prince. How would she feel if I accept this proposal of marrying the prince? But you know that Amara is not a wife material. You've seen it yourself. She's not. Uh, but you can make her one. Why not teach her to be? Why not tell her she needs to be well behaved? I mean, if you give her a reason to, she will. I believe she can learn and adjust. Besides, my, my love is not for sale. Let me tell you something about myself. My princess, I am not that kind of a woman. I am not the type that is carried away with material things, luxuries, houses, clothes, shoes, bags, wealth, positions. I mean, I love and I love truly. I am in love with Odili. Money or not, I love him. I hope you understand. I'm, 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 I'm very sorry, my princess. I, I cannot... Are you sure you know what you're doing? Hmm? I'm sorry, my I'm sorry, my princess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, son. Yes, I know. But can I ask you a question? What if you come back and you don't like her? What will you do? What if you say so? Yes, she's around. Okay, hold on, let me call her. Amara! Amara! My queen! Please come. My son, he wants to speak with you. Okay. Hello, honey. How are you? I'm not fine. Why are you coming back from London? Truth is, I cannot wait to be in your arms. Soon. Are you serious? Soon? Ah! I'm so happy! Okay, okay, bye! <laughs> he said he's coming soon! Yes. 
Sexy Sex. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How did you get to know Odile? What has he given you to eat that you have sworn no man will come in between both of you? Uh, my princess, um, the story of I and Odile is actually a very long one and I don't think there's time enough to tell you all about it because I, I need to go prepare dinner but one thing I need you to know is what oh, they didn't give me anything to eat it's just pure love just love the love each other look at them partners in crime so both of you are here planning on how to snatch my prince from me. Well, it might interest you to know that you both have failed work. Because I just got off the phone with my man. And he said he will be coming back shortly to pay my diary. I mean, all the marriage rights. In food, and you listening to her, she's just deceiving you. So, I'll advise you hold that your poor, wretched orderly, like they say, a bed at hand is worth more than a million in the bush. With due respect, my, my, my princess, no one is dragging the prince with you. Let's see who wins. I am a winner. I never lose. I am a born winner. The prince is mine and mine forever. Excuse me. We will see. Just go back to your duty. Okay. Amara. <laughs> you heard all I told you. Just do it and do it very well. And be very careful. Yes, Mom. Consider it done. I trust you. Okay then. It's a game we won't need me hard In this balance We won't need me hard Cause if you do any hard They will show you the door It is a disappointing delay My love I am no longer comfortable in this palace As a matter of fact I want us to leave this palace because I am tired of everyone pestering me to marry the prince I cannot continue like this. My love, I understand how you feel. But I completely disagree with you. Leaving the palace this instant is not the right decision to make. I mean, do not forget the reason why we're here. Do not forget the mission. We need to raise money for the marriage rights, remember? Think about that. Besides, I hear the prince comes back from London soon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he picks Amara for a wife. Then boom, life goes on. Work continues. <laughs> and what happens if he chooses me instead of Amara. No. I have a very strong feeling he'll pick Amara. 
And what if your feelings disappoint you and he picks me instead of Amara? No, my love. <laughs> He'll pick Amara. I'm sure of that. The question still remains, what if? Then we run away. I mean, run to somewhere very far away from everyone. Abscond, elope, disappear. Beautiful. That's my point exactly. So this is the right time for us to start packing our bags so that running away can be easy for us. Because you know what? I see the end of this whole drama. I know that everyone will try to convince the prince to pick me considering the fact that they all have their eyes on me. And, and, and if that happens, where does that leave you? What happens to you? Well, although I know that nobody can force me to do what I do not want to do, like marrying the prince, but... It is better for us to play safe. So this is the time for us to leave. This is exactly how I wanted you to sound. Princess, you sent for me. Um, Audily, yes, take this money, go get me toothpaste. Toothpaste? Yes. But we have a lot of that in the house. Go get me toothpaste! No, my princess, there are, there are toothpastes. My friend, you go and get me toothpaste. Oh, you mean you don't like the brand? I said, go and get me toothpaste, my friend. Another, another brand, another, another brand of toothpaste. Oh, just okay. go, whatever, just go. Another, another brand of toothpaste. Yes. She just doesn't like the one in the Maybe. House. Okay. Okay. Are you done with breakfast? Um, I was on it before you called. Then go back to the kitchen. Go get busy. Okay, my princess. Toothpaste. Just go. Mm -hmm. Need you to listen to me. You need to go in there and start packing your things because first thing in the morning we are out of this place. Where do we go from here? Well, tell me, where do we go to? We have no place to run to. And babe, don't forget how difficult it is to find a job. Don't forget how How much we suffer to to get this particular job, huh? Listen, we, we we must stay back. I strongly believe they will all come to their senses. They'll come around. Hey, hold on a minute. Who am I talking to? Am I communicating with you? I mean, why do you find it difficult to understand me? Do you even? about what I'm going through in this palace. I am tired. I'm tired of the pestering. I understand. But running away is going to be risky. Oh my God. Running away is risky. What if we run away and the, the king accuses us of theft? Stealing his money. And you know how connected he is. He's going to chase us with the police. Then? Listen, he's the king. The traditional oh ruler of this kingdom. He has the power to put us in prison. Only we can find a place to hide. For crying out loud, we can hide ourselves in a place that nobody can even find us. Come on. Not even the king. Come on. For how long do you want to hide? Are you serious? For how long do you want to hide? If you ask me, I'll suggest 
the king sacks us himself than running away like common thieves. Yes. Dear Lord, what kind of a problem is this? How did we even find ourselves in this mess? How did we get here? I, I understand how you feel, but listen, we, we, listen, we have to stay back. We can't run away. There's no place to run to. We can't find a job. It's difficult to find a job. Remember what we went through to get this one? Listen, let's just focus on the plan. I believe they will come to their senses. Okay? I believe they will come around. Baby, listen to me. We can make it outside of this place. We can. We can make this happen. Please, let's just leave. I, I understand you. <laughs> My love, I but we, we have to also think about the risk. Just, can you just listen to me? I, I, please. I know, but we, we have to think about the risk. He's the king. I, I, I don't want to be put in prison for something I know nothing about. Think about it. Have you all gone deaf and dumb? I said, who entered my bedroom and removed the 300,000 naira I kept on my table? So, none of you want to accept that he or she took the money? I said, who amongst you took the money the queen kept on her table? I repeat, who took that money? Well, none of you want to accept. If I find out myself who took that money, that person will rot in jail. Who took that money? Father, it's a waste of time asking them. Because none of them is going to accept that he or she took the money. So I suggest we search their rooms and bags. That's true. Now go into your rooms. Bring your bags out here. Now, move Princess. into your rooms. Move. Does it mean we've been harboring criminals in our palace? to carry them because I'll save them one after the other. Pick up the bag and let the other indicate.
This is one of the bundles out of the money I withdrew from the bank yesterday. Hodele, so you are a thief. You stole my money. No. Where is the rest of the money? There's a mistake somewhere. I am not a thief. I can't take anything that doesn't belong to me. Somebody put that money in my bag. Somebody stole that money and is trying to set me up. Who, who put the money in my bag? My friend, stop demonstrating. He's not a thief. <laughs> not your majesty. Your majesty, your majesty right listen. Me. I, I didn't steal. You are telling your wife to listen. To listen to you. Listen. This is a conspiracy. Somebody's trying to set me up. I didn't do this. My queen, I didn't take your money. Somebody stole the money and put it in my bag just to set me up. Say something! Say something! I thought you were a good person. I'm a good person. A good person. I am disappointed at you. Same here. I am disappointed at you. What, what is Leading down there will not help you or save you. I will call the police right now and you are going to rot in jail. My king! My king! My king, somebody stole this money and put it in my bag! <laughs> it is obvious this is a conspiracy! My king, you can't do this to me! I didn't steal any money! Please, I beg of you in God's name, don't do this. Please do not call in the police. I, I, I promise you all they didn't steal this money. If you call the police in, there's nobody to speak for him. He doesn't have anyone to speak for him. Just have mercy. You can do anything, Your Majesty. Maybe you can sack him. Or better still, you can sack the both of us. Yes, just sack us and... Uh, please, just give us time to run around and bring back this money. My princess, please. My queen, we will bring back this money. I promise you, we're going to pay back this money. I'll make him sign the only land he has. I'll make sure he pays back. Please have mercy, please. Father, please listen to Onimi. Let them go, please. Thank Mother. You. Okay. I give both of you only one vote <laughs> to return my money back to this palace. Thank God. Thank you. If you don't do that, both of you will rot in jail. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. Now, you take up your bags, go in there, pick the rest things you have there, and leave this palace. Yes. Because we cannot be having criminals. Yes, my king. That's fine. <laughs> Prince, useless thing. Go back to the bin where you belong. Dirty girl. And you, you heard the king. One month. One month to return the money or begin to choose the particular cell you love to spend the rest of your life. Look at them. Dirty things. So dirty. I wonder who is giving this orderly money to maintain his cousin. Idiots. Your Majesty, these people love themselves a lot, especially that Oninye girl. She can actually die for that poor boy because of love. But that boy must pay for not allowing Onye marry the prince. At least let it be the price he paid for love. 
I don't think he's bad. Um, but, but mom, I don't think we should disturb or delete for the money again. We all know that he didn't steal it. We just wanted to intimidate him for not allowing Nonini to marry the prince. Will you shut up your mouth? I said shut up your mouth if you don't know what to say. Do you know what it means for that poor boy to reject my offer simply because of a, of a woman? It's love. They're in love with each other. You don't have to blame him, Dad. In that case, he has to pay the price for that love. Right. If after one month, he did not return back my money, you will see what I will do to him. In fact, today, and their entire generation, you don't know me too well. I'm a heartless man and I can do what I don't do. It won't work. Don't kill me. Hey! Nice, you Oh, you are not real back. Hey! So you people are finally back. Huh? You are finally back. Nai, is that how to welcome them? How do you want me to welcome them? Huh? How do you want me to welcome them? So I should jump up and hug them. Makana how will I go? How will I go? My children, go inside and drop your bag. Hmm? Hey, 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 pardon. As soon as you go inside the room and open it and drop that your bag, you come out here and pay me my house rent for all the most you lock that door. Do you hear me? Hey, nice. 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 You see your life? You see your life? He's no longer going to pay the house rent because he's our son in law to be. Thank God you say our son in law to be, not yet our in law. Get that into your head. Get that into your head. Our son in law to be, not yet our in law. Hey, Flory. After long, he go I don't know. He's no longer going to pay for the house rent. Because of Ramon. No. Now what you are doing to this boy is not good. What am I doing to him? What you are doing to this boy is not good. Remember, your own son is there in the city, living in somebody's house. Mm -hmm. What you are doing to this poor boy is not fair. I am not doing anything. It's not fair. What am I only demanding for my house rent? Why do you just say me like that? Hey! Hey, come now, Chini. When you go in here, the man is just a liar. In the next 20 minutes, book down in the kind of Hey, I'm not seeing it. Come on, I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not So, Papa, Mama, that is exactly what happened. They sent us away on the condition that we're going to bring back the Queen's money in a month. Hell, oh, my children, this is what you people passed through. 
But who could have stolen Lolo's money and put it inside all the lace bag? I know this is a setup. Oh, Mama, we are equally as confused as you. It is obviously a setup. Our suspicion is Amara, the prince's wife to be. You know, ever since we moved into that palace, she has not given us a breathing space. She doesn't like us, and nothing we do pleases her. It's been from one shouting to the other, calling us names, and I mean, we know she's the one, but we don't have proof. Mama, Onyinye is 100% right. She doesn't like us. She doesn't want us around the palace. There was a time she sent us away without the knowledge of the king and the queen. She asked us to leave. We strongly believe she's the one behind all these things. This is indeed a setup. Bam! All these things, both of you are saying is none of my business. All I'm saying is that you should run around and get money and return to Igwe and his lover. Failing to do that, you prepare yourself to go to prison. Huh? And uh, you orderly, I am giving you one week to perform Onyeji marriage right. Failing to do that, I will just bundle her and send her to her brother's uh, house in the city. Uh -huh. And you will never see her again. But, but sir, you can't do that to me. Uh, you can't do that to me. You're I putting you're putting pressure on me. Give, give more on me. Where do you want me to raise that type of money from in one week? Is all right. Why don't you give me some time to see what I can come up with? All this is you're saying is none of my business. Give you time, give you time, give you time. On give more on me. I have said my own. One week. All the one week. Papa, but this is not fair now. Yeah, we can't be under pressure to get the queen's money back. And then you're putting us under pressure to, to, to raise money for traditional marriage rights. And it's not fair. Is that actually to steal uh, 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 money? All I'm saying is my own. Did, did we steal the money? Hey. So, you believe these children stole uh, 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 your lost money, Abby? Eh? What? Um, my son, Odile, you are going nowhere. Don't mind him. Eh? You are going nowhere. And he's not going to do anything. Hmm. I'm not going to do anything. Mbao. Yeah, you my money. Hey! Mama, mama, this house. Una, I'm gonna give you. Una, my man, Na iji kwa na de mo maza iya. Yeah, uh, Odele. These are women's talk. Let's talk man to man. Hey. One week. One week. <laughs> uh. He is my son, the yeah. prince of this kingdom, your husband to be. Oh, and she is oh my your God. wife to be.
It's so good to be home, Dad. <laughs> oh, right, Prince, yeah. I know you must be hungry. I'm stressed. What would you like to eat? Mm. Would you want soup or rice? Mm -hmm. Give me your best. Really? Yes, give me your best. <laughs> I'll take both. Oh. Yes. Oh. You know, I love you so much. Oh. Let me get you ready. Shut the kitchen. <laughs> Why are you pacing around? Is everything okay? I don't know. Just that I'm scared. I don't know if our plan will work. Scared? Why are you scared? Come on, mom. Relax. Everything is under control. Really? Yes! We planned this together. Remember? See? Dad likes the game. Reason he asked me to arrange it. So you have nothing to worry about. Are you sure about it? Yes, Mom, I'm so sure. Oh, I am relieved. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing is going to happen. It's in control. <laughs> Where is uh, the Prince and Emma? Um, Your Majesty, they are still in their room. Still in their room? Uh, princess, Father. go to your brother's room and tell him that I want both of them now. My name is Hannah, you jack and I'm not with them here. You with them now, machine. I'm not going to happen. Father, they're coming. Father, they're coming. Father, they're I call this meeting now because I overheard and also noticed that both of you are doing what I asked you not to do. I told you that I don't want you to touch each other until the marriage rite is performed. Y yes, Your Majesty, you said. Oh, we are sorry, Your Majesty. We, we could not control ourselves. What? Yes, yes, my queen. She, she wouldn't allow me. She, she was all over me. I, I, I could not help it. After all my warnings to both of you? Now get out of my sight! Get out! Look at them. Okay, man, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I've been saying it. This girl is not a good girl. At all. She's not. Hey. It's a game we won anyhow In this palace We won anyhow Cause if you do it here yeah, It will show you the door It is a disappointing delay <laughs> um, Madam Princess I thought you said your brother would not marry me when he comes back. Between you and I, who is the winner? Of course I am. <laughs> Let's watch and see who is the winner. Now get out of my sight. If you like, don't look at me. Keep pressing that phone. Is that phone you press for the rest of your life? Get out! Shut up!
baby. What's the plan? The one week my father gave us is due in three days. I intend pleading with your father to at least allow me to start something small with the little money I can afford. We can start by paying the bride price, the dowry. I, I just hope he accepts. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, we can actually plead with my father. But what about the queen? The money, the palace money. It's the one month is almost due. Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. How? How, how do you mean you will handle it? <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Tell me. Mm -hmm. This is the plan. I want us to run away. Let us run to the city where no one can find us. Look for a job. Start working so we can raise some money. Then we come back and pay them. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a very valid point. We can actually run away. Yes. Why not? This is such a relief. What about your father? Oh, please. Like you said, we're going to come back when everything is okay, right? I mean, when everything is settled. Sir, so, please. I'm begging you in the name of God. Uh, allow me to do the little I can. The little I can afford. Please. I know I am not financially buoyant now, but I strongly believe that things will get better in no time. I love your daughter so much, and I can't afford to lose her. I promise to take care of her. But let's start with the little I have now, the little money I can afford. Please, sir, I can't do this without you. Help me, sir. I love your daughter so much, and I promise to take care of her. Please, sir, I beg you in the name of God. Papa. Papa, please. Papa, I beg you in God's name. If there's anything I've done in my past to piss you off, I am sorry. Papa, please. I beg of you, just listen to him. Papa, this is a man after my heart. And the person I would love to spend the rest of my life with. If I do not marry him, Papa, I would die. Nay, Nay, please. Nay, please listen to them. Be calm. Remember the love you have for all your children. You promise to do anything that will make them happy. Papa, you. your lovely daughter here. Say that it's only ugly will make her happy for the rest of her life. Why not do it for her? Please, Nye. Do it for her. I believe that when they get married, God Almighty will surely bless them. And we all will rejoice with them. We will enjoy with them. Is it the money? Be coming, Nye. Be coming. Papa. Be coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will inform my kinsman that my son in law to be. Adele will come and perform my daughter's marriage rights. Yeah. Papa, I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.
My love. Yes, baby. I've been thinking. I mean, I know I can't afford an expensive wedding for us. But I really want you to look good on that day. I want you to look very good. Well, who would you want to look good? I would. But of course, we don't have money to buy expensive clothes. So we have to manage what we have. Don't worry, I have money. My love, here's a hundred thousand. I want you to go to the market and buy something nice. Buy a nice dress. Because I want you to look very beautiful on that day. I want people to be very jealous of you. Especially your friend, Okoma. I want her to look at you and feel like, oh, you're so beautiful. Baby. Huh? 100,000 naira. Yes. Where is this money from? Oh, don't tell me you sold anything. And I hope you didn't borrow this money either. No. I didn't sell anything. And I didn't take money from anyone. I've been saving. These are my savings. Listen, all of those errands at the palace, I make money from them. Don't you know? And it summed up to a hundred thousand naira. Well, I added my salary to it. Oh, no. Can give me everything. Take. It's yours. I want you to look good. I want you to buy something nice for yourself. A nice dress. I want people to be jealous of you. When they look at you, they'll be like, Yes. She's happy. I mean, we don't have to spend on a big wedding, but we can also look good. So... This is all mine to spend. Yes, like I said, buy something nice. Buy a nice dress. You look good on that day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Baby, all of this is for me. Yes. Wow. This boy want to play with me. You want to play game with me? Oh, you want to marry Onye, my supposed daughter-in-law? Hmm. I will really deal with you. I will show you who I am. Yes. Say it in order. 
everything is all right. I'm just thinking about something, though not serious. Yes, oh, everything I'm... is fine. <sighs> you got me worried, Your Majesty. <laughs> um, how is Amara? Amara, Amara, she's in the room. Oh. My prince, you see that girl, Amara. I am no longer comfortable with, with her. F Father, she... I don't understand, Your Majesty. <sighs> no way. Go back to your room. Your Majesty... Okay. Your Majesty, I came to discuss something else with you. Don't worry. Go back to your room. We will talk later. Why this place so dumb? They are not not playing your music. So no, yeah, we are, we are stop, stop. Stop. We are back. Stop. We are the one that brought this people. Yeah, yeah this boy. Ah, they not started playing that. Why be even that? No, no, no. We are just not. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Today is your sister's. What's the name you now? Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, you know, do this thing, I beg. Oh boy, on that dress. No, 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 no. Start to play now, please, please, scratch something. Hey, that was no good. Oliver, give me better. I just came from the Oh, Mona. Okay. What happened? You want to plug? You want to plug the battery? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. I'm playing the music now. Ah, no. Oh, my God, now. Now, now, now. We don't have much time now. It's not that cool. Why are you using that? What's the problem now? What's the problem? This for our guests now. Stop, don't touch that thing. Don't try to do it. Don't try to do it. Yeah? Put it in the middle of the day. I don't put it. I don't put it. I don't put it. Michael. Yeah, um. Very fine picture. The boy is doing well. Yeah. I'm a camera. No, I'm a camera. Ha ha! Hey! Adele, Adele! Very fun! Adele! Adele! No, no, no! I'm fine, I'm fine! I'm okay! My in-law! Yes, sir! Welcome! Oh, Nina! 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 Oh, you know? You, you, you're a bad boy, bro. Yeah, Only you are a bad boy. You can only want to be. You're going to be a bad boy. You're going to be a bad boy. You're going to be a bad boy. She's my daughter now. Am I not the one? Why are you one? Why are you one? Okay, take that one. Your husband is here. Come now, stop smiling too much. I could take this sense to me. Just hug him small. Hug him small. Please, you don't have to miss it now. Ah, you don't have to work. Oh, I got to go. Yeah, all right. One more question. My answer. Yes! How are you? How are you? Okay, okay, okay. Hey! 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 Police! 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 Police!
You think you can play a fast game on me by getting married to my supposed daughter anywhere on here? I am here to give you the last chance. If you are going to accept whatever I'm telling you today, you will not go to jail. I said, wait, I am coming. Your Majesty, please don't arrest us. I told you I was coming. I told you. This is funny. Onye, this bag here contains 20 million naira. I want you to use it to better the lives of your parents and leave this boy called Odile and marry the prince, my son. What? Don't worry. The matter is settled. The matter is settled. The matter is settled. Odile, yeah. oh, yeah. I have told you to leave this foolish boy alone. Leave, leave, leave him alone. He is bad news to this family. Leave him alone. Igwe. Don't worry, the matter is settled. I have, I have taken the money. Papa, what? No, 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 Papa. No, I keep that Papa, one. Papa, Papa, please stop. Give me no. that money. Your Majesty. Please. Make sure no. Shut up your mouth. Don't worry. Don't worry, the matter is settled. What? It's not possible. I'm sorry. Your what? Majesty. My Queen. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I, I, can't, I can't accept this. I, I'm sorry. She's lying. Papa, she's Papa, lying. Papa, please don't Are you all right? Are you all right? Can you just... Is something wrong with can you? Can you just stop? Is something wrong with you? Stop! I'm sorry, I cannot marry the prince. You will marry him. The prince already has a wife, ah. and, and that is Amara. I, I, I can't. I love Odili, and my love for him is not for sale. Yes, I am in love with him. This is the man after my heart. Oh, I cannot oh, love each other, your sell mom. his love for anything in the world. Mom, mom, not just even this money. Oh, Papa, please drop this money. You. Igwe, drop. It. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I cannot. If with this money leave this compound, I will skin your life. Papa, please. Yeah, stop. Leave this compound though. Leave this compound. You have bad news. Oh, sir. Leave this compound. I haven't done anything wrong. Papa, stop this. He's going nowhere. Yeah. No. Nah. Papa, I want Papa, a no. Papa, stop this. Why are you doing this? Why? Why? Hey. Hey. Because of money. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Mazi Bakwe is alright. Adele. You heard what I told you. I want you to take this money and leave Onyinye to get married to my son, the prince. Uh, my king, I, I, I don't understand. What's going on here? Don't worry, we'll settle it. I said, take this money into your room and count it and make sure it's 20 million naira. Your Majesty, if I heard you correctly, you said if I take the money, I will not go to jail. Finally, you will not go to jail. But then you have to leave me. Yes. So, 
Of course, we can't take it. But you want me to go to jail? Ganga, Ganga. And you're willing to sacrifice our love for what? <laughs> well, you heard the king. He said I'll go to jail if I don't take the money. Adele, you are wasting my time I'm, and the I'm time sorry. of my kinsmen. I'm sorry, your, your majesty. I, I'm just trying to explain to, to, to her so she can understand. Okay, so what... What, what are you... No! Hey! Are you... No! Are you... I said no! I'm no, sorry. What about me? My love, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I don't want to go to jail. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Your Majesty, let, you? let me count it. Are you serious? See your sister. Let me count. Let me Ma, count. Adili! 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 You said know. if it was not Adili, you would die. No! 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 You want to marry her, man? No! 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 Oh, you know. Golden shoes at the feet and you're not going to keep quiet. Keep quiet, quiet there, my friend. Eh? Hey. 20 million naira. Do you know what 20 million naira will do for us? Hey! What rubbish is that one? Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Somebody wait for me. Oh, you know. You see your life. You see your life. You are alone. You see your life. Leave me alone. Money, money. Leave me alone. Calm down. 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 I don't pay for money. You see? You see your life? Oh, you're crying. You're crying. That's my son. Madeline. Igwe. Your Majesty. The people of home, we can pay you. Hey! Hey! The man standing before you here came into this kingdom in disguise and he was here in search of a good wife. And Onye standing before him happens to be that good wife he later found here. The same man, as I said before now, is a prince. And that same prince is my son. Onye, wake up, wake up, wake up, Onye, Onye, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's not a dream. It's not a dream. Bad guy! Ah. Too much! You started the world! Hey! hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you shocked me! Trust me for this one! You, you trust me now! <laughs> you, you know I deliver! But, I, I deliver you, to the fullest! You finished the work! Oh, thank you! Thank but you, you know what? Yeah. You really enjoyed that girl! Uh, you must tell me for that uh, one! Uh, <laughs> well, you put it for the enjoyment now! Wait till it come be that one! No. You plan on the edge of the desk by more than your hair. Uh -huh. The work don't finish. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Complete, Abi. Let's just come be that one. I bet you the money they go. I trust you, I trust you. Uh -huh. um, I'm sure you call me for some couple jobs. For waiting now. I bet call no, you no, 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 my no, no, house. <laughs> thank you very much. Wait, let me give you one. One shot for the road. You see the worry. Police, they leave my house. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. Thank you. Who laughed last? Laugh the best. <laughs> hmm. Hey! Why are the people? Eh? Wonder they say shall never end. So, this boy is a prince. All this why he was living with us in this house. And pretending to be poor. Hey! Hmm. I thank God though. Mm. I thank God I did not treat him bad at all. But what do you 
He didn't even show as if, in fact, <sighs> let me reserve my comments. Hi. Mm. Hi. I now believe that word that they say. I think I'm not on a moto. I have known that my sister Onyenye is a very lucky girl. Huh? Right from when they gave birth to her, I knew she's a lucky girl. Oh. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Ah! Oh, yo. Ah, ah. She's very lucky. It's not this, uh, mm. this old church that they called Judith that went to marry that uh, poor wretched uh, rat. But uh, what is it? What sort of word is that? Oh, 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 oh. So because of um, Onye's husband is a prince. And Onye is now the future queen of Oma Ama Aga Kingdom. I and my husband worth nothing to you. Hey, just shut it up. Just shut the show. Okay. Eh? Eh? I said, do you know the puta? Give me a little bit of a My friend, my child, you know. Be a something. Why are you insulting Judith and her husband? I'm not saying anything bad. Eh? Were you not the one that said, it's over your dead body. Will oddly marry you near your sister. Okay. So why are you so nice to them now? Or because eh? Oh, oh. My friend, my friend. Why yourself? Oh. Just shut up my now. No what's the problem? What's the problem? What is it? If you should allow me to concentrate. Allow me to think. Ah, sorry, nah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, all the leaves are prince. Not just a prince, but a rich prince. And I live away. I'm in law. To a royal family. Hi! Oh, yeah, we're not getting more new. Getting more new. You should know. Hey, Baba. You are not even talking. <laughs> Imande kuka, imaru meibia. Call the limit per gigate. Yeme per gigate. Ine kuku no. Papa, you want to be a no in another man's kingdom. Uh -huh. My lord is the king, so he can do anything for me to make me happy. Huh? Papa, no, no, no. Papa, I can't do too much. And all the little will make it, do everything to make you happy. Both of them. Hi. <laughs> Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I did to you. I'm sorry for everything I would not do them again, please. Just give me a second chance. I would even worship you like my king. Please, please. Before I came to this planet before, Nye, just send her away. Send her away and allow me to take back my position. Beautiful. So let's assume I'm attracted to you because you're beautiful. What makes me stay with you? Have you thought about that? Because I'm attracted to you. You're beautiful, so your beauty attracts me to you. So what makes me stay with you? Your character. Because they say a man or a woman is defined by the content of their characters. And sometimes I ask myself, who raised you? Because you have a very bad character. However, 
because I'm a gentleman and I'm a humble prince. I do not want to throw you out myself. So I'll peacefully, politely ask you to go in there, pack every of your belongings and disappear. Okay. Hey. Please. 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 Take your hands off me. Take your hands off me. In case you didn't hear me, I'll repeat myself. I'll quietly ask you to go in there, pack your things and disappear. Because when I come downstairs and meet you here, <laughs> My prince, my prince, my prince, when you were sitting around with Colin, did you ever know that he's not the prince? Oh? So tell me, how's she doing? Perfectly okay. She only needs to rest. You know what happened to her nearly made her lost her memory. But we thank God, she's fully recovering. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really, uh, I really appreciate. It. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. God will see you all. Feel better? Okay. You okay? So in order to recover really fast, you need to eat some food. Okay? So the kitchen what? No, no, you have to eat. Listen, get up. Just get up. Yeah, that's fine. It's a cookie bomb. It's fine. You like it? with you. You almost killed me. It wasn't my fault, baby. You caused it. I mean, I... I can't... I can't even remember anything, but... I know the last thing I remembered was... was, was I just can't wrap my head around it. I don't know. I just lost my mind. I don't know how it happened. It was, it was, it was, a was it's a shock. It was too much. It's okay. 
It's all right. Mama, it's not our fault. It's not our fault. We tried our best by controlling her. You know how stubborn and arrogant she is. She doesn't take correction from anybody. I'm a lady, your man. Who am I saying? I warned you. I warned you. Just because I gave you advice. Just for your own good, though. For your own good. You said, eh. Uh, I was jealous of you because you moved into the palace as a royal, whatever, uh, and you walked me out of the palace because you said you are the future queen. You walked me out of the palace of my best friend. I warned you. You see? You see yourself? Who's going to marry you again? In fact, those my dry lips, you are going to beg me to kiss them. You see yourself? Idiot. <laughs> now you are shedding tears. Crocodile yes. Look, it is too late to cry when the head has been chopped off. And you tell me which person in this kingdom will marry you again. Idiot. I don't want fear. See, Amara, first thing tomorrow morning, I am coming here to collect that 15,000 naira I paid you. I am coming here to collect that money. Okay. Okay. It's not getting email. Mama, my money. shut up, both of you. Let me go and then walk out. We have to take our money it's back. Leave my house now. You see yourself? You tell me, it's shame on you. It's funny, and what can you tell me? Woo! Woo! Shameless girl. See, I am giving you one month, just one month, to get married and leave my house for me. You said it's a wretched house. What are you doing here? <laughs> okay. You look sad. Don't tell me you're still worried about the incident. Well, um, I just have a lot going on in my head. I have a few questions I would love to ask you. Maybe it's okay. What could that be? I promise you're gonna 
you going to um, talk to me? You're going to answer me? I promise. Okay. You know, I was just thinking in my head. Looking back and knowing how you were in the same palace that you are now as a prince. I mean, you were here as an ordinary palace guard with all of the maidens and the palace guards. Nobody recognized you. I mean, how did you do it? <sighs> Could it be that they all were pretending not to know you? I mean, it's... It's crazy thinking about it. How did you do that? My love. Yes. I can understand what troubles you. But it's okay. I'll tell you everything. Okay. Come. My love. Yes. It was entirely my decision to embark on this journey. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Yes, my prince. Sit down. Alright, thank you. I and your mother here, the queen of this kingdom, called you in order to have a discussion with you. And this is about the marriages that you have attempted that failed. Especially the marriage between you and the Chibuko, the princess of uh, Ozara land. And so many other girls that you tried to get married to, that also failed. Then we decided to call you for a meeting in order to ask you what next. <sighs> Dad, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak my mind about my experiences so far. I'm going to say this, that I'm very, very disappointed with what I see around. It's quite unfortunate. I mean, that I'm sure before you married mom, you saw some qualities you liked in her. But in my own case, it's totally different. I've been around for a while and uh, I tried to engage a few people. And to everyone's knowledge, it's been abortive. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I believe uh, a man knows what he wants in a woman. You meet a pretty girl because beauty attracts people to you as a pretty woman but character keeps you but I'm sorry to say that I haven't seen anyone with a good character you meet someone whom you find attractive and the moment the person realizes that you are from a wealthy family. She gets on her high horse because she feels she's also from a wealthy family. At the end of the day, she doesn't see a reason why she should respect you. Because she thinks 
whatever you can afford for yourself, she can afford for herself. So that it becomes very confusing to engage these people. On the other hand, you meet someone who's from a poor background. And because she knows my personality, she knows that I am royalty, she becomes very humble. But the moment you engage her and bring her into the house, she becomes a tiger. She begins to act like the Queen of England. Dad, I'm so sorry to say this, but I'm not looking for a beautiful woman. I'm looking for a wife material. I'm looking for a woman whom I would engage. Someone I would have intellectually stimulating conversations with. Someone who would support me. Someone who would add value to my life. But I'm sorry to say this, Dad. The people I see around this community, the people I see around this village, are materialistic people. They are not, they don't have dreams. They just want to have sex. They just want to drink alcohol and wear expensive things. That's all. So sometimes I go into my room and I think of what to do. So that yesterday, I came up with a plan. So, what plan are you talking about? Dad, I want to go in search of a woman who would truly love me for me. How do you mean going in search of a wife? Dad, I've decided to disguise myself. I have decided to change my identity to become a commoner. I'll go into other communities, other villages as a commoner to find my wife. I'll drop every royal personality that I have and I'll come down to their level. By so doing, I'll find someone who truly loves me for me. And when I do that, I'll bring her here. We will both serve as palace maid, palace guard in this kingdom. And it is going to be under your watch. You're going to watch her closely. Dad, you're going to watch her very closely to confirm if she has similar characters with mom. And if you find that one thing that made you pick mom as the queen of this kingdom if you find that character in her then I'll make her my wife very brilliant mm -hmm. so do you think you can handle this well um sorry let me come in son I don't have a problem you disguising and going into the village to look for a wife but coming back to serve as a palace guard, I think I have a problem with that. Because I don't know how you're going to achieve that. We have palace maidens and guards who already know you're the crown prince of this kingdom. And don't you think your little secrets will be made open to the woman you're going to bring in by the palace guards and maiden? Mom, I understand your point. But I have everything under control. I'll suggest we send all the workers away. The maidens, the guards, send everybody away. And when I go in search of a wife, 
you can employ new people. So that when I am back, no one would recognize me as a palace guard. That's nice. Our son has wisdom. And this is fantastic. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> so that was exactly what happened. Wow. After I sent my maidens, my gods, I sent them all the way. My parents, most especially my mom, employed new ones. The ones working presently in the palace right now. And she did that because the plan must not be ruined. Oh, whoa. I mean, the new ones don't know me. Yeah. So my secrets are safe. <laughs> Besides, I don't live around. I don't live in the country. So, and that is why, in fact, that's the major reason Amara doesn't know who I am. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's my story. Are you serious? Yeah. You mean all of this just to find the love of your life? <laughs> <laughs> you have to go this far? So, hold on. How did you locate me? I mean, how did you find me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, a very important question, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember the day I saw you and your sister? I mean, coming back from somewhere, I don't know where. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I said hello to you. Uh huh. And you responded with so much humility. Okay, so yeah. that single act of yours pushed me, oh. moved me. I had to trace your house. And coincidentally, there's a vacant room. <laughs> and the idea of me doing all of that came up. Oh my, my goodness, I right. cannot even imagine this. I mean, this is unbelievable. You went this far just to get the love of your life. Right. Whoa. That's kind of cool and cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ask me, I, I think that whatever happened was actually predestined. I mean, our paths were meant to cross. Destined to be together till death do us part. My love, don't talk about death. I mean, I feel like we're young people. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Life, death, life and death. We still have so much time on earth. Well, you know. I mean, we're going to love each other and live happily ever after. Okay, so how many years are we looking at? That's a hundred or two. Oh my god! <laughs> what does that make you? Matisse and what? Are you joking? Ah, my love, my sister. Libre! <laughs> you and your family are highly welcome to my house. Thank you, well. I must congratulate you and your wife for giving Onye the princess and the future queen of this kingdom a well-deserved training. Uh, uh, I am the one that trained her. Uh, she's a good girl. I am happy. She is such a wonderful girl. I and my wife, we are so happy to have her here and today she is part of our family once again you are welcome you are welcome your majesty 
Um, thank you very much. I and my family are so delighted to have you as our in-law in our family. <laughs> and I promise you, you will never regret stepping your feet into my family. Igwe. You can say that again. I'm so happy to hear that. Well, in the next Afomarket day, my family, my cabinet members, my casemen, and the entire kingdom that I rule will be coming to your house to perform the traditional marriage rite of your daughter, Onyinye, eh? my daughter-in-law to be. <laughs> and I promise you, we are going to do it in a larger way, <laughs> in a bigger <laughs> way, that your own community will now know that a king stepped into your family. Mba, <laughs> 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 Your Majesty, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. I will do as I said. I will tell all my king's men, even the whole community, that my in law, His Royal Majesty, is coming to my house. See, uh, you know, honey, let me tell you. You see this your son, Adele? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a nice person. He's a good boy. Do you know that when he was living in my house, I, when I see the the goodness and the is woman I ask him not to pay his house rent again. It's true. You it's see, true. as if I know that he, uh, he's going to marry my daughter. You see, uh, Johanny, even this is my daughter. When so many suitors we are coming, asking for her hand, they marry. I say, my daughter, no, take it easy. I know that good thing uh, will soon come. I say, for uh, <laughs> Johanny, you see, this is my daughter. She's still a bitch. I'm not going to get seriously. And your your son, Abel, is a lucky person to have her. <laughs> your Majesty. And madam, you're not left out. I want to thank you so much for your efforts, Your Majesty. She actually played my mom, and she did it so well. You deserve an award. <laughs> After today's gathering, I owe you ten thousand dollars. Wow! Not for me. Thank you. Thank you, my princess. <laughs> Um, Your Majesty, in addition to all what you have said, I want to say that I am very happy. Onye, I am happy to have you as my daughter in law. Mm. And honestly speaking, I don't know you are this beautiful. She's the carbon copy of my mother. <laughs> she hid her beauty. It's her character that she cannot hide. Yes. My prince, you have an eye for a good thing. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, continue to enjoy yourself, please. Continue, continue to enjoy yourself. I lack words. You're a good woman. <laughs> You're a good woman. <laughs> Yeah.
نتون 